Dirty trucking, dirty trucking down here. Got that barbecue on for all y'all uh, OTR lease purchase stuck out there on the road. And y'all wish y'all was at home somewhere, somebody house doing this, getting that smell of that charcoal. Uh, we got that Kingsford match light going here. See, I like to use, I, I, I don't like to use all that chemical stuff to uh, light the coal. So when I can find a bag of these, I usually get the one with the mesquite on here that makes the chicken come out so good. In my little cheap little folding grill I bought long a couple while a couple years ago come in handy to fold it up put it in the closet in the apartment it's about 25 bucks and it serves its purpose it's a little small one and the meat don't really the ribs don't really fit on it right I should have cut them in half but uh I ain't feel like it but once that chicken come off it uh it'll cook quicker than the uh I'll move them over but this is dirty trucking chilling outside uh, it's a bit nippy right now. Uh, I think the temperature is going to get up to 70. So I know you OTR and uh, company drivers out there on the road wishing you was at home or somebody's house. And uh, you, they probably ain't up this early. But, you know, tomorrow day is tomorrow. And uh, that's going to be a short day for me because I got to get up early and go in. So I like to get my barbecue out of the way. And plus, I already know pre-promised my son a uh, whole slab of ribs, ribs so and uh, he got to go in later this afternoon so I'm gonna get up and uh, wake the neighbors up with this aroma of the barbecue because uh, one of the neighbors did that one day last uh, before the pandemic uh, woke me up around midnight with the smell of barbecue charcoal <laughs> down here came through my window and I got up like hmm woke me up on my sleeve you know charcoal smell good even without the meat so this is dirty trucking. I'm sitting down here and in our little patio area down here at my apartment building in Detroit. It should be about eight o'clock now. Oh, let me hold on. Got to work with the meat, the flame to come up. Hold on, y'all. Alright, there we go. Had to douse the flame. You don't want the meat cooking too fast. Might have to go back up there and get some water in a minute. Anyway, down here got the queue going on. You see the the smell. I'm only gonna do it's just me. So um I don't do that whole whole barbecue thing thing like I used to because I used to have a whole couple of pieces of chicken, uh a couple of about probably about three ribs, a whole pack of chicken. Well, but that was back in the day when my son was growing up and uh, had my house and everything was lovely and Warren Truck Plan hadn't fucked me over. So, but I'm still doing my cue. Uh, it's, it's rare I was able to do this over the road and I miss doing this. I had to like, I you know, that's the only thing about trucking and truck drivers. You got to pick pretty much your holiday you want to come in because if you ain't ran long enough to, to make your money uh you can't keep running home on the on these holidays not unless you got some type of dedicated let's get you back and forth to the house so you see that steam it's cool out here so i don't know what kind of crazy weather we got up here but monday and tuesday it was 80, 80 and almost it was 90 degrees monday and tuesday up here then all of a sudden uh wednesday flipped the script and got cool uh, the holiday, it get cool, so you see I'm out here in my jacket. Monday and Tuesday was perfect barbecue, perfect park weather, perfect go-to-the-beach weather, perfect everything weather. We was out here having a ball. I mean, it was packed. People was out. You would think they wasn't even at work. When the call has come for them to go take their ass back to work, Monday, their ass all got to go back to work here in Michigan. So, the pandemic thing is coming to an end. Uh, July 1st, all the mandate restrictions is officially over here in Michigan. So, it's going to probably be putting his mask on the grill and light this bitch and burn it. Because I'm tired of the bitch anyway. Excuse my cussing, but I'm tired of it. It's been too long. Uh, things has not been normal around here. And uh, you can't really do what you want to do. And uh, things are like coming back. Like I said, we got a, our first show here uh, over at Burt's. Uh, and over at the Eastern Market, y'all, and anyone from Detroit to know know the area, uh, it's a little bar like lounge. And uh, we got a comedian here in town, uh, Michael Collier. Uh, I believe today is his last day. Uh, I'm gonna see how I feel, see if I might catch that last show today. If not, there'll be other events working their way here to Detroit. But I wanted to get my barbecue out the way early this morning. Neighbors are 
coming home from somewhere I don't know where but uh hopefully I hope ain't nobody up in my apartment sampling my potato salad right now that I made last night all up in my string bean messing with shit I hope not uh because that ring camera system like I said is no good these people have found a way you see that's that's what happens when the government or somebody does something to you where they know all your information people could just go ahead and and upload your shit to their phone and be working your shit from their phone when you leave out like they you so uh but i'm intent on catching that individual so and i usually stay down here till the full entire barbecue and then i go upstairs and uh make my sauce and then uh i like to get the meat i like to go on the grill and give it that smoked charcoal flavor then I go upstairs, up there to my apartment, and uh, I don't raise a shade there. I'm up above the little half shade there. So, uh, so I go upstairs to my apartment, make my sauce, and I turn the oven on, and then I let it marinate in the sauce. I don't bring the pan down here and put it on the grill and uh, let it bake in here. I do that up there because the meat got the season from the charcoal. But the ribs is going to be mighty tasty. So one of them is mine and one piece of chicken, and the other one I'm getting my son. So he can go on to work and uh, get his little holiday going on uh, visitation because he got to run by here early before he go to work and, and grab his stuff, get his plates. And uh, yeah, I said plates because uh, I still do cooking. You know, kids just because they grown, they still come by the parents' house and, uh, on holiday time when it's cooking time because they remember that because that's what they grew up on. So like I said, I already promised my son. He's 30. I got a 30-year-old son. Uh, he's here in Detroit. Uh, and... Uh, I uh, promised him some uh, a whole slab of ribs. I got it down here smelling good. The neighbor's probably just waking up wondering who the hell down here barbecuing at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's me. I got up at 6.30 and started heading down here to set up and get everything going. So hopefully around about um, it's 8, around about 12, I should be done, pretty much done. And uh, going on upstairs, getting ready to bake it, get it, getting ready to put my sauce together and uh in the oven but this is dirty trucking i'm chilling at home at the apartment doing that local thing and uh and so far so good uh I'm trying to get myself back back to normal on my feet from the, the, the disasters from lease purchase uh because those didn't go right and uh and i'm back home so and then since i've been home and i'm wondering why the hell did i even go back out there and you know but the situations and the times you know you try not to lose your, your stuff, your apartment, then you got to do what you got to do. And that's the quickest job I can get was OTR trucking, you know, and this local stuff. And uh, like I said, this job that I took here, I wasn't familiar with. And I was leery of it. I saw it before I went out the last time. Uh, I could have been here uh, a year ago. But uh, no, earlier this past year. And But uh, I, I don't know. I wasn't familiar with the job. And uh, I, knew, I was in a situation where I had to go ahead and get on out there. But for you OTR, y'all just waking up on your truck, or you up just delivered a load, and uh, you want that uh, charcoal flavor, maybe you can smell it through my phone, my video, I'm going to send you that aroma through my video. Let me smoke here. And it's the smoke, and it's the ribs there. You remember doing this when you was at home, local? Some of y'all probably already called the dispatch after my last video and told them to route you on ASAP. And so you can get here and do this. So uh, try to enjoy as much as much of your holidays as you can. Find a truck stop. Hopefully they coming back up with the buffets and and doing something out there for y'all for Memorial Day. Got some ribs or something for y'all. I hope they good ribs. That's another thing. It's only rare few truck stops with the buffets is actually good. The one over there, TA in Atlanta. My God, they cook like me. <laughs> Jesus, you come out of there swole. You got to be wheeled out in a wheelbarrow back to your truck. Uh, it's only a few of them that got that good at home cooking. And I do remember that TA. No, the petrol over there in uh, the TA petrol over there in uh, Atlanta. Off that loop there. The one you got to pay for all the parking is paid. So, so uh, they do got their home cooking. So hopefully, uh, I don't know how it's going across these states. Uh, the pandemic is lifting for you all and these restaurants is allowing in-person dining and uh, I don't know how soon they bring the buffets back or maybe you can get a takeout of ribs or hell if you down south ride past a rib joint with the truck <laughs> it's true hey you gotta do what you gotta do to get that uh that holiday spirit going so I know y'all just waking up out there 
I've been up since 6.30. Wanted to get down here and get this done and out the way. Because I might go catch me a movie later on. Nah, this coming weekend, my movie's coming out. And most of y'all don't know, Dirty Trucking is a horror fanatic. That's why I'm in tune with trying to catch this person that's coming in my apartment. It's been years this has been going on. Never been able to catch them because they know how to do it. They wait till I leave. And while I'm gone, how the hell am I going to catch somebody? I'm gone. And ain't nobody in the building telling shit because you don't know who to trust in the building. I don't trust nobody in this building because the one I, I'm talking to may be the one doing it. I don't know who doing it. I'm just making speculations right now who I think is doing it. But I did catch one individual a couple years ago. I just happened to come back early. Seen this Caucasian male at the end of my hallway with a white garbage bag stuffed full of something. And the garbage bags look like the brand I use out my apartment. He don't live at the end of the hallway. He's not the man that lives across from me. So, and I'm wondering why he was doing that, but I got a good look at him, but he works here in the building. So, uh, that was my first instance of trying to catch who was coming in. I don't know if it's one or several. I think it's more than one individual coming in my apartment, going through my stuff. And I do believe it's a female going to my, my apartment, going to my closet, going through my stuff. You guys can't even bring expensive perfume in here from uh, Macy's or anything. They be messing with the perfume, switching the perfume. I can't bring expensive perfume in here. Uh, you can't leave shit in the fridge. And that's a damn shame. I got to live like this. And my government kept this secret that they was allowing people to do this. And I'm pissed off at the government about this, that you got people doing this. And I had to live like this. And now I'm on a mission to catch them and expose them. Nobody should be living like I'm living. You can't leave your apartment, leave food in your apartment without a word that somebody that came in there, opened your fridge, sampled your food. Eating your shit, all up in your closet, going through my mail, my papers, in my bathroom, in my bed. Man, who the hell want to live like that? But right now, it's the holiday time. And I don't give a shit. I'm down here barbecuing. Now, don't get caught up there in my apartment today because I'm going to be in and out. Because today might be the day they ass get caught. You just never know. So I move just as quick as them if I catch them. So, this dirty trucking. Let me give you one more look at the ribs. I know y'all just wake y'all. That got that slab going. That's that charcoal. We got that Kingsford match light. Got it smelling good down here. This dirty trucking got the Q going on. Dirty trucking out. Peace. As always, happy driving and stay safe on them highways.